I know that um, it's really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry, I'm feeling really dizzy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll sit down. You can step away. Oh. <laughs> Where, what part, what unit do you work in? Yeah. It's Tiffany Dover, T-I-F-F-A-N-Y, D-O-V-E-R. What unit do you work in? CCU. So I guess just talk to us a little bit about what just happened after passing out after Tiffany. Okay, so I had a syncable episode. Um, I have a history of having an overactive um, vagal response. And so with that, um, if I have pain from anything, hangnail or if I stub my toe, I can just pass out. So um, what happened is I started getting, I get an aura before of feeling weak, dizzy, disoriented, um, and it just you know hit me all of a sudden. Um, just felt really diaphoretic and I could feel it coming on, so I felt a little disoriented, but I feel fine now. And the pain in my arm is very minimal, actually, but it doesn't take much. So, so you feel fine now? I feel fine now. And this is, you know, I have passed out probably six times in the past six weeks. You know, I, it's common for me. Okay. Yeah. No. Do you regret taking the vaccine? No, <laughs> no. I mean, like I said, a hangnail can cause me to have this. So this is common. It is for, for me, health. yes. Okay. Yes. Um, typically, like I said, I can feel it coming on, and I could, but I was trying to push through, but, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Well, yeah, thank you yeah. so much. I appreciate it. Yep. Around to be monitored for a few minutes. One of those is in case you have an allergic reaction that's exceptionally rare with any vaccine, mm -hmm. but theoretically possible, so we recommend being on the safe side with that. If people have a, a, a history of having hypersensitivity reactions, not of an allergic nature, but getting nervous or, uh, or getting a little bit lightheaded after a painful stimulus, sometimes just sitting down for 10 minutes before getting back up is, is advisable and uh, uh, can prevent this kind of thing from happening. Because translated, the blood pressure can just lower a little bit, basically just from an increased vagal tone to the, to the nervous system. So what do you think was the case here? Uh, I think that she uh, got a shot in the arm and made her feel a little bit lightheaded, and uh, she's recovered now. It's happened before, apparently. Okay, so this this is normal behavior for this person. It, it is it is a uh, a reaction that can happen very frequently with with any vaccine, with a shot of any kind. There's no reason to be concerned mm -hmm. with the vaccine. Kind of like if you've been uh, if you've been to the doctor and had blood work done before. Some people get a little lightheaded when they yeah. see the needle going into their skin. This is the identical kind of reaction. Yeah, no reason to suspect that that's due to the vaccine whatsoever. But if you're afraid of needles or have a history of uh, getting a little bit worked up or, or sensitive around needles, take a minute afterwards and catch your breath. All right. If that did happen to somebody, like, what's the <laughs> protocol? Like, if you are getting lightheaded, what do you do? Like, sit mm -hmm. down, put your... Sit down, have somebody fan you a little bit, take a drink of water. Uh, for people who have uh, diabetes and are on uh, insulin or have a, a predisposition to getting low blood sugar, um, having a little bit of glucose in the form of a, a cookie or a cracker or something can help too because sometimes hypoglycemia can, can present this way as well. But just sitting down and taking a minute before going about your day.